Thank you for joining us for this presentation on an overview of erectile dysfunction. The following is a brief summary of some of the content contained within this lecture. If you would like to access the full content, please visit us at the ISSM Online University. This page summarizes the lecture overall and will be present below the video itself. Penile erection is considered as a neurovascular event which needs a trigger coming from the center. Several population-based studies investigated the prevalence of erectile dysfunction. Considering the pathophysiology of erection, it is clear that the main risk factors for the occurrence of ED is aging. The first step in the assessment of a patient's self-reporting ED is to perform a As a first step, we should identify and treat eventual curable causes of ED, such as hypogonadism. Intracavernous injections are an effective second-line treatment for ED. Alprost the Massachusetts Male Aging Study was one of the main studies showing a high prevalence of ED. To summarize, erectile dysfunction is highly prevalent in men, especially in the older population.